Hey everyone, so here we are at part 4 of Certificate Operations in your Fortigate. This video series spreads some light on the importance of certificates and why do we use them. It is not a tutorial of how to create a self-signed certificate. We will get to that. It is actually the theory behind digital certificates. So what did we have? We had symmetric encryption where the two parties share the same secret key. We also learned of asymmetric encryptions where we use a key pair, a public and a private key, different keys yet related mathematically. And then we had at part 3 we had hash functions, a one-way function that takes any input and transform it into a digest, a hash value that is not reversible and is collusion free. That is, no two different inputs can produce the same hash value. All right, so let's connect the dots. A CA, which is a certificate authority, issues digital certificates. This digital certificates also contain the public key of the entity who requested the digital certificate. It can be just about any web server out there. Another thing that it does is signing the digital certificate. How it does so? It hashes the digital certificate along with the public key and then encrypts it using its private key, using the CA's private key. Now, when a browser connects to a secure web server, it gets the certificate along with a digital signature. Think about it as two different files. It opens the digital signature using the public key of the CA. It has the public key of the CA in its certificate root directory. Now, any browser keeps its certificates, its CA certificates, in a different place. Now, as the file is being decrypted, he gets the hash of the digital certificate value. He then takes the digital certificate, the original one, hashes it using the same hash algorithm that was used by the CA. The type of the algorithm is also present on the certificate itself. We can see it right here. If both hash values are the same, then we have a proof that the entity who sent the certificate is the one who it claims to be. So we have used asymmetric encryption and hash functions to prove the authenticity of the entity. Now, the two parties, the browser and the web server, will negotiate the symmetric encryption that will be used as the encryption algorithm, the cipher itself, to encrypt the communication between them. 